Hey Zugboos, it's Shitsi and welcome back to the channel for another part of my Sims 4 series, Finding Solid. So guys, we are back here with Miss Aspen. I am so excited to be doing this because today is her and Leo's wedding day, which means she's going to officially be Aspen Lee Bonds. Aspen is definitely keeping her maiden name as a way to show respect of her independence, healthy relationship, and also tribute to her mother. So when I got married, I also kept my um, my maiden name. I just moved it over to my middle name because I still wanted to honor my father who did an amazing job raising me and taking care of me. For those of you who don't know, I lost my biological dad when I was younger and I was adopted by my stepfather who I just call my dad. I don't call him stepdad or anything. And he did an amazing job. And the fact that like he didn't have to step up for me, but he did, I definitely wanted to keep my last name. I know that was a little bit too much TMI, but yeah, I just think that it's really cool like you have the option as I mean in my state you have the option as long as it fits to keep your maiden name but Aspen is so ready to get married now the the area that we chose to have the wedding at I couldn't hire a caterer for the wedding I think you have to actually have a ceremony afterwards so I did have Aspen I know this sucks. I had her cook a whole bunch of stuff last night so oh, who's calling somebody is that Aspen's phone Oh, Nani was caught using her phone to look up answers during a quiz today. She got sent to the office. Oh my gosh, retake the test with no phone. That's exactly what Aspen would say. Um, <laughs> because she must have learned that from Aldo. As y'all know, Aldo is kind of not the best child, but he's trying to get better. And um, Mrs. Aspen here does not know that. <laughs> but if she did, I'm sure she talked to Aldo as well. But anyway, so I had Aspen cook a whole bunch of food last night. So we have this pot. Pasta. We've got our wedding cake. She also made some macaroons, um, tofu chicken for those who are vegetarian, and we also have spinach fritta. So she's ready to go. Everyone has their outfits picked out. Everyone is attended for. The only thing that Aspen couldn't find was an officiant, but I believe that they'll just use someone who's local, so we don't have to worry about that. And um, we're going to be getting married in Henford on Backley. So I'm super excited. The wedding is at three. So we're literally right there. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see her in her wedding dress, to walk down the aisle, and just to do all the bridal things, guys. Now, she does have a black bouquet and a black wedding cake. So y'all already knew what it was. Like, <laughs> I just have to remember to grab this all out of the fridge before we leave. And Mr. Leo over here, he's been feeling super anxious, as y'all can tell by the push-ups he's doing and ooh, it looks like LJ is feeling a little gassy <laughs> but one other thing I wanted to tell you all before we got too serious and into all the fun stuff um Aspen will be migrating to life with Gabby I don't know if anyone missed that but all the family members will be going to life with Gabby because Finding Solace has at least two more episodes if that you know one for sure um but this episode and maybe one or two more and it just depends on how long I take to wrap it up. But yeah, I feel like I finally completed all of her goals. She's super happy in her life and um, she's just in a better headspace. So I think that it's okay to end Finding Solace. Some of you have even expressed that. You're like, I'm okay with her ending because she's achieved everything that she needed to achieve. But for those of you who love to see her familiar face, I'm just looking around to see to make sure if I <laughs> forgot anything. But yeah, for those of you who like to see a familiar face, she will be in Life with Gabby and with the high school pack coming out. We still will be mainly focusing on Gabby, but we get to explore Aldo and Nani in high school and then them in college. It's just going to be so fun. Um, Stephanie, hey, Aspen Lee, I think I can join. Can I join the bridal party? <laughs> oh my gosh, I know it's exclusive, but I'll totally fit in. Not Stephanie. She's like, so do you need another bridesmaid or maid of honor? Because I would love to be it. <laughs> But no, we're okay. Okay, so it's almost time to go. I'm so excited. I'm literally just sitting here and waiting for the clock to tick down. Now, Nani's at school, and she has asked Aldo to be her date. So I'm hoping that he can come. I ran through a test really fast with this... Uh, 
with this wedding pack just to make sure everything works and everything works for the most part. I do have a little bit of buggy issues when I do it, but I think I know how to fix it. But guys, it is almost time, so I'm going to let the time tick away and I will see you all at the wedding venue. Okay guys, we are here at the wedding venue and it looks as though Nani has spotted Aldo. She did have a little reaction that was basically like she had an attractiveness alert go off for him, but we are looking at Nadia Romero, who is is Nani's aunt and she's also kind of watching Nani like hey girl I see you over there with your crush and she's just like really happy for her um but this is the wedding venue that I built on stream the full video should still be up on the stream um I'm trying to figure out if I should take it down and then we'll download it and move it over but yeah this is what we built on stream it's a woodsy type of wedding so I was gonna put up some string lights and I forgot <laughs> sorry so hopefully we will be okay um um, if not, I will add them in. But over here, you have like a little bonfire area. There's a um, bathroom, the kitchen space. There's a bar with some stools where people can kind of sit down and drink. Oh, sorry about my voice. Over here, we have our cake with our dinner options. We have a tree, Aspen and Leo's table, which they probably won't sit at. <laughs> um, and then over here, we have guest seating. This is where the wedding will go down. We have the aisle, the chairs, and oh my gosh, the is this what is this called? The arch? <laughs> the wedding arch. I love these flowers. I really wanted to stick to the black theme for Aspen and the piano is also black. Over here we have a horseshoe option for people who want to play horseshoe. And then right here is obviously the dance floor. I think I had some issues with the chandelier. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove that right now so we don't have any problems. I find it so cute how these two kind of walked off to the side. They're talking about their favorite band and just gossiping. And you know, Nani's feeling super flirty. She's like, I can't believe he came you know i asked him to be my date and the fact that he's here is so crazy oh no not friends with benefits but maybe we can um i wanted to give him a flirty compliment but oh gosh what should we do um maybe enthuse about meal i feel like when you're awkward in your teens you kind of just talk about everything and you don't really know what to say but look at our girl guys oh my gosh i can't wait to see them in high school and just watching them like experience it all the way <laughs> and see what they can get into but i think that it's time to uh what's the word start the wedding i'm so excited so it looks like everyone has taken their seats everyone sat down they're ready for the wedding ceremony to begin now um we do have our uncle tom lee here he's going to escort aspen down the aisle so that should be really beautiful but we have leo and aspen over here just waiting and he's just admiring his wife. He's like, I cannot believe I'm marrying such a beautiful woman. Like he's so in love with her. Look at the way he looks at her. I can't. Their romance is just amazing. And of course, LJ, he just does whatever he wants. I am going to cheat his needs so I don't have to stress about him too much. <laughs> but everyone's ready to go. Nani is ready to throw her flowers and she's just smiling from ear to ear because Aldo Garcia is right in front of her. <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and we are actually going to send um, Leo down the aisle first and then I'm thinking about sending um, Nani as well now the wedding venue said that they sent someone over to be our officiant so I don't know when they'll be here but hopefully they'll show up and oh, look at Leo oh He's so cute. He's like, hey guys, like, thanks for coming to my wedding. I like how <laughs> Aspen's over here eating. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> <laughs> so our officiant is none other than Mr. Edmund Hodges. And for those of you who may, this may be your first episode. Oh my God, go back and watch the first one. <laughs> but this is Aspen's ex-husband, the one who cheated on her, had an affair, moved someone in. He is now just looking super sad and looking at Leo in the face. And he's like, hey, buddy, how's it going? I'm definitely going to be marrying your ex-wife and really don't care how you feel <laughs> like leo is just so happy he's like she's my wife now and edmund just looks so sad and pitiful but just to update you guys mr edmund is actually living in henford on bagley by himself his wife left him took all his money took his house and he's just looking simple and to get by the town said that he didn't have to pay rent on his location as long as he was an efficient for weddings so now he gets to watch aspen and leo get married it's crazy 
But the next person to be sent down the aisle is actually Mrs. Nani. So we are going to send our flower pal Nani down the aisle. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. Oh my god, LJ brought his macaroons to his seat. How stinking precious. I love this kid. Um, but Nani is getting up. She's feeling so awkward. She's like, oh my gosh, Elda is going to see me throwing flowers for my mom. Why is everybody randomly getting up? What happened? I think that girl set everybody off. But Nani's just going to do her thing and throw her flowers. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. I want all the screenshots. And Maddie's like, I didn't think to get a, what, a flower pal for my wedding. <laughs> like, She's just thinking, but everyone, please sit down, guys. Please sit down. And next to sit down the aisle is going to be Aspen and Uncle Tom. Guys, oh my gosh. Aspen is looking at her Uncle Tom, and he's like, are you sure this is for you? And Aspen said, yes, I want to marry Leo. He's perfect for me. He's everything I could have asked for. And I know that he's going to treat me good. And, you know, Tom's like, your mom would be so proud of you. She'd be so happy to see how far you've come. And that's all he has time to really say. But look at them. Oh, my gosh. Aspen's like, I'm going to marry Leo. And she's like, Uncle Tom, thank you so much for being here. I feel like they're talking quietly amongst each other. And also, if for anybody that's wondering, this is Leo's ex. And she's definitely not mad at the fact that Aspen and Leo are getting married. I think she just had a bad day because when I did the test run, she was okay so she's not phased by these two getting married at all but i'm trying to get a good screenshot of aspen <laughs> she's so happy i love her you know she deserves all the happiness because she has worked so hard and i just i love her <laughs> but i hope you guys are just as happy as me here she comes she's coming down the aisle with uncle tom look at that dress y'all picked out though hugging her in all the right places uncle tom is like leo take care of my niece but guys we are gonna have leo and aspen exchange their vows with the officiant who is none other than mr edmund as we said he's looking quite sad he doesn't even know what to say he's like I mean, I know that Aspen is a good woman and I have to remain professional. These are his thoughts. So he's like going to try to conjure up the best words he can to just say congratulations you two you know honor each other and it's kind of awkward and really odd that he's the one telling her you know telling him to honor her or ironic really because he did not so this is really crazy and he's like Leo I know that you, you're good for her and you can protect her and I just think that you guys will be great together and you may not exchange your vows and Leo is just like Aspen girl I love you so much and everything we've been through like I already knew from the day that you moved into your apartment next door to me you were the woman of my dreams and Aspen's like oh my gosh stop Leo like <laughs> You're making me blush. And even Edmund's getting emotional. He's like, oh my gosh, I remember the day he whooped my butt. <laughs> but Aspen's like, you're right. When I saw you, I didn't really like you at first. But shortly after, I knew you were the guy of my dreams and I was going to marry you. And Edmund's probably crying because he's like, I love weddings. <laughs> but Aspen has her new wedding ring. And, well, her first wedding. Well, yeah, new wedding ring because she was married to Edmund. But are you guys going to seal the deal with the kiss? I need to see it. I hope they bump heads because that'd be so cute. Oh, she has to do his ring. I forgot that they do both now. Oh my God. Share a kiss, please. Oh, here he goes. Oh, I didn't get it. It was so quick. Look at her. She's like, you kissed me so fast. <laughs> she can't believe he kissed her like that. But that was so cute. Oh my God. Nani has to pee. Hang on, guys. That was literally so sweet. <laughs> now, everyone's kind of getting in the way. But I do want to have everyone do the rice toss that I wanted. So let's have everyone gather at the aisle. And then we are going to have the guest throw the rice. It's going to be so cool to do all this at once and hopefully they'll all listen everybody please stand up leo no no i didn't know that his bladder was low too <laughs> oh gosh oh my god aspens was about to go too everybody gather to throw rice please i hope everyone will stay still aspen go here <laughs> leo go here wedding stuff is just insane sometimes guys <laughs> now we need to is it walk up yeah walk up <laughs> and oh no together oh i'm so bad at this send up 
yes hopefully i did this right if not we'll redo it <laughs> Okay guys, after trying a whole bunch, I figured it out. <laughs> but Leo is grabbing his wife by her hand and I am sending these two down. I wish I would have gotten it with the rice. But guys, look at this picture. Oh my God, I love them. I love them so freaking much. I can't stand it. Like Mrs. Aspen Lee Bond. Oh my God. <laughs> they look so cute. Now they aren't throwing rice. So I'm glad I got that picture of they're like, let's uh, walk this way. <laughs> Just walk around all the furniture. <laughs> but this is going really, really well. Now I do want Aspen to toss her bouquet. So I'm going to have all the guests kind of come over here. And oh, I didn't even have her. Um, hold her bouquet <laughs> so let's start the bouquet throw hopefully she can get in a place where everyone will be able to have an option to grab it oh like slide music yes i don't see aspen it's locked on her but i don't see her where's my girl she's like invisible guys <laughs> what just happened i don't see leo or aspen y'all better stop where did they go? Oh my God, I hope they pop up. Because currently, Leo and Aspen are invisible. What is this? Oh, they see, I see one. Please, please become visible. <laughs> I will probably cry. <laughs> I don't even think I can reset her like this. <gasps> ah, where are my people? <laughs> okay, guys, I was able to get Aspen and Leo back. I was so concerned because I could not see them, but I'm going to have Aspen attempt to do her bouquet throw. I hope that, I think I need to select somebody. So Nadia is already married. So I think it would be super cute if Madison could catch the bouquet. I think this is how we do it, right? Well, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm so bad at this. Alrighty, guys, I finally got Aspen to get the bouquet toss ready. Now, it's weird because these two are already married, but maybe Nadia wants another <laughs> another wedding. I don't know, but I know for sure that I have to send it to someone. <laughs> so everyone up here is married, so maybe they just want Aspen's bouquet. But I have selected, no oh my gosh, I selected her sister-in-law. And then look at that. She's looking back like, who caught it? Oh, all you guys are married. <laughs> She's feeling so awkward, <laughs> but I at least want to get these two to cut the cake really quickly. Time is on a crunch right now, guys, but I'm going to have Aspen come over here. Oh, she can't cut it with him. I need a dining table. What is this? Why are there so many complications? <laughs> All right, so we have the cake set up. So Aspen and Leo are gonna come over here and cut their cake. I love how everyone's kind of sitting and chatting at the tables. This is what I wanted exactly. And look at Eldo trying to be super, super close with Mr. Bonds because he knows, he knows how strict Nani's dad is. She's told him, but um, it's gonna be so awkward when he asks for permission to date her. Like they're not even official yet, guys. Can you imagine how this is gonna go? It's gonna be so fun. Now Leo is starting to feel super tired. So I'm gonna boost that up just a little bit, but here we go. We're gonna cut the cake. He's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're married. I'm, I can't believe they're married. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh, he's like, Thanks, Aspen. Now let's feed some cake to Leo because I think that's gonna be so cute. <laughs> okay, I like how they're wearing the same suit too. Oh my God, maybe he, wait, I think he was the best man. That's cool. <laughs> but um, everybody's getting their hands on some cake. I don't blame them because the cake looks amazing. And here they go feeding their pieces of cake to one another. Aw. And I like how Edmund's still walking around looking sad, but he's still enjoying himself. So that's good. Um, but they're going to feed each other some cake. And we're going to rush through this a little bit. Oh, she's still carrying the bouquet. We're going to rush through this a little bit so that way we can have them come over here and have everyone just watch their food. First dance, gather for first dance, and we are going to have first dance with Leo. I know this is all moving so fast. Oh my God, she sat at her table. Oh, I need a picture. I didn't think she would. Aspen, thank you for being a star. Oh my God, she literally sat, her face is full of cake, but she literally sat at the table that I designated for her and Leo. I love this girl. I beyond love this sub. I can't even. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you, Aspen. <laughs> Leo was hollering Aspen's name all the way from the dance floor and he's like, hey, come over here. Oh no, it's raining. 
no, no rain. <laughs> he called her name from the dance floor and he's like, hey, Aspen, get over here. We have to have our first dance. It is getting quite dark and it's already 12. So I need to hurry up. Edmund's feeling paranoid. He's like, oh my God, please don't let me get struck by lightning over here. Like, this is not what I need. Now, I think Aspen is on her way to the dance floor. We need to move this very quickly because it is getting quite dark here. But look at these two. Oh my God. We are just going to have our first dance. This is so cute. Oh, I love it. They look so good. So I was able to brighten up the area a little bit with these lights. So, oh my God. Yes. I love this. Now I'm going to have Nani attempt to slow dance with you know, I'll do because I know a lot of you all were waiting for this. So Nani is going to ask Aldo if he would slow dance with her. Look at how beautiful this tree is. Oh my God. Hurry up and grab him, girl, before he leaves. I hope he's still here. Let's see. Slow dance. Aldo. Oh my gosh. I'm really trying to make this happen, guys. I'm so sorry. It's like stuck. I can't get her to do it. Um, oh no, I really wanted y'all to see this. Oh crap. <laughs> All right, guys, after trying for a million years, these two are finally slow dancing together. Now we will see them slow dance together at prom because I'm sure, you know, Aldo and Nani will go to prom together. But why did y'all cancel out? Why is this so crappy? Come on. It may be the fact that they're teens, but oh, look at Leo. Leo and Aspen are looking at them. Oh my God, guys, they're like, doesn't that remind you of us when we first started dating? They are so cute. I can't believe they're looking at them. Do y'all see this? I love gameplay like this. Oh my God. But yes, they are just embracing one another. And Aldo is like, Nani, I didn't get to tell you when I got here, but you look gorgeous. And I really love your hair like that. And uh, oh my God, they're so cute. I know a lot of you all were waiting for this, so... <laughs> Here you go. I hope you're happy with it. Oh my god. Edmund's feeling heartbroken. Oh, well, it's not, it's not my fault, buddy. You missed out. That's your fault. <laughs> oh my gosh. But guys, I'm going to let them enjoy the rest of this evening. It is over. So we are going to be following Aspen and Leo to their hotel or their resort as to where they'll be staying because they're going to Tartosa for their honeymoon. And it's only going to be one day because we need to come back because our son, LJ, is going to be aging up. So I'll see you guys at the resort. Aspen and Leo have just arrived to their resort here in Tartosa. It is gorgeous. I think I'll wait till morning to show you guys the hotel. So that'll probably be in the next part or not hotel. I keep saying hotel, but they're rental. So this is what it looks like on the outside. And I'll show you guys in the morning in the next part, but it is gorgeous. It did come with a save. So I think it was already like this. And um, we have this beautiful hot tub that overlooks the beach and everything. It's so gorgeous here. I can't say that enough. I know I keep saying it, but it's huge. We even have space for if our family wanted to attend and join us we have a bedroom for kids and another um, office space and then there's like double bathrooms so we have plenty of space but yeah look at this it's so pretty now these two are already trying to get in their woohoo we are hoping to make a baby on this trip because you guys said that you feel like Aspen and Leo have at least one more kid in them and I could not agree with you more I feel like they definitely would have three kids but that would be the max and I hope I, I don't know I don't really care what it is because we already have a boy and a girl so I don't really care what they end up having but I'm just excited to see another baby by these two because they make gorgeous kids now I am going to let these two enjoy their woohoo but guys I hope you enjoyed this part and I hope you enjoyed the wedding if you did leave a like comment down below don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat I love you guys so so much and I will see you all next time bye guys